Hi everyone, it's Giselle with another message for today. It's quite funny, after I've uploaded my last video, I was guided to do another one um, because they wanted me to approach a message from a different angle, a different place. Um, and I guess to open up more myself, this is the card that came out when I asked for guidance, they said, use this one. Okay, so I will. I'll just look at the card and allow it to inspire me because I'm not really too sure what I'm going to talk about. Um, one thing I did want to say, though, is the phrase, this too shall pass, kept coming up in my thoughts um, as I was getting ready to pull a card from this deck. This deck is a psychic tarot for the heart. Um... And this is the card that came through. Number four, open up, it says. So yeah, they say in this too shall pass. Of course it will, you know. And it's quite tricky to see how this will pass when you're right in the middle of things. It's like having a horrendous, you know, um, tonsillitis. Remember, it takes me back to that time when I had the worst tonsillitis for three weeks and whilst I was in all of it I just felt like am I ever going to get better am I ever going to be able to sing again am I able to go in you know to to go through life without coughing without hurting gosh when did I have that I that was about hmm January 2017 oh it was so bad it was three whole weeks and the worst thing of it all is I felt that my manager at the time in work didn't believe me. But of course, I had irrefutable proof. I mean, I had uh, a note from the doctor saying I couldn't go in. And it was um, a continuous um, condition. It's not like, um, you know, something that they could go, oh, you're, you're making this up. I mean, I, I had antibiotics for three weeks, for goodness sake. But anyway, it, it kind of took me back to that time where I was like, am I ever going to get out of this? Is this ever going to change? Same with my twin flame journey, you know, being out of contact for over a year. I just kept thinking, how in the world is this ever going to change? How am I ever going to get out of this? How is this ever going to happen for me? Until one day, out of the blue, like a miracle, he contacted me and we were able to communicate once more. You know, things like that do occur. And same as with your situation. Of course, we're all going through it, aren't we, right now? But this too shall pass. This too will lift. And if we can all band together hand in hand as a collective of light workers to help the world elevate in energy then I'm, I'm sure that we can help to heal this a lot quicker, you know, and to, to sort of cut the cords and to release any negativity so that it doesn't linger, so that we have a fighting chance at this just getting better sooner. So open up, they're saying, open up. Let me see, what do we want to open up about? Well... I guess, hmm, I'm just trying to see what, this image reminds me of a flower in a way, opening up like a flower does, and the only way that you can truly open up is through being honest with yourself, through being accepting, so in order to be able to be open, we have to accept, we have to take things as they are. And it's all too easy to put your head in the sand, to not allow yourself to really hear the things that you don't want to hear. I mean, that's been me for a very long time. Because I've been afraid that if I allowed myself to hear negativity that it would 
completely consume my energy and I would be drained. But what I've been trying to do lately is balance myself. Balance my ability to keep myself neutral and positive, but also to be aware of the essential things that I need to be aware of. I guess what we're also being called to do is to open up our hearts to each other. Even though we may not know each other, I'm sure all of you who are signed up to this channel are linked. We are all on a journey that we recognise as the twin flame path. And this time we need to open our hearts up, even though we don't know each person who has subscribed to this channel, we do know that we all have a very similar intent and that is that we believe in true love and that we are here with a mission to spread true love so that the planet may be uplifted and we have chosen this twin flame path as the journey for us to do that through. Other spiritual people have chosen a different journey. Some of them have chosen a solid, a, um, sorry, a, a journey of solitude, a journey where they don't have a twin flame or a partner that can help them navigate their path, you know. But the reason why we chose this with our twin flames is because this particular aspect of spirituality spoke to us. True love speaks to us. We are romantics at heart. We are soft, delicate, sensual and loving beings at heart. And we want to explore life through the wonders of true love. This is why we've chosen this path. So we all have that in common. And if we can open our hearts towards each other, imagine your heart now being like a beautiful rose and it's opening up its petals and with each petal opening there is love coming out and we are sharing that love with each other like a like a web a web of love and together we can help to fill each other's hearts with more and more love we're sending it to our person we're sending it to each other and it's crisscrossing all across the world toward each other this beautiful energy of unconditional, true love. You know, one of the things I've come to realise, and I have told a few clients this, is that this time of self-isolation for many people, it's going to be a make it or break it for many couples. Many couples will find it a very trying time to be in such close proximity together for very very long periods of time and it will either bring them closer together than ever before and make their relationship the most beautiful or in many cases it's going to make people realize what they really want if they are with the wrong person and that is going to be being given the opportunity to come to light and to be broken down because anything that doesn't belong I feel now is going to be given the opportunity to break off. It's a bit unfortunate, really, that it's taken such a, a life-shaking event to truly allow people to search within their souls for what they're truly wanting, but something had to shift. And I feel that this is one of those things that allows people to really look within themselves. I've heard from a couple of clients now that they have received some sort of contact from their person. The contact in some cases has been extremely crazy and I'm sure that if my one of my clients who's had this is listening now, they all know that this is their story, um, that they just suddenly started receiving pieces of mail in the post from their person addressed to their house, even though that person had moved out and hadn't 
had anything sent there for for years near yeah pretty much years other people have received you know other forms of contact and definitely telepathic contact has been going around like mad you know but all of these things are to say look things are shifting things are changing it takes a big shake up sometimes to truly allow people to open themselves up to look into their hearts and to realize life is precious and I need to make the most of it and I want to be with the person that I'm meant to be with, the person that makes my heart sing. And I feel that throughout the situation, true love will prevail. Because that is the beautiful, most most pure mission that we've come here for and to carry out is true love. So I wanted to share that and to give you some hope and some clarity around, you know, this whole energy. This too shall pass, but this is giving us an opportunity to change what needs to be changed or go for what we should have gone for anyway. So, yeah, I just felt quite inspired to... To share that with you in, in a separate video and don't hold me to this but I get a feeling that I may be inspired a bit further down um, the line you know maybe tomorrow maybe even today but certainly I feel the big gap the big pause that I've had to take from my videos because my energies were too confused and too up and down I feel that has subsided because I'm feeling a much stronger call to do these videos now so if you have a question or something you wanted me to address not a reading of course I don't want to you know kind of get all personal about people's things and you can certainly do that in private anyway get get readings and things like that but if you had any topics or anything that you maybe thought oh you could do a video about that because I'd really like to hear about whatever really um, suggest them and, and if I feel I can speak on them because sometimes I won't be able to speak on certain things it depends what it is I don't even know yet but if, if it's something that I certainly feel drawn to or called to do then yes I can do that so please comment down below if there's anything you wanted me to talk about and I shall see about doing a video for you but I want to thank you all so very much for watching I'm doing special promotions till the end of the month for smaller packages so that it may be easier for people to access um, not quite such large packages um, just so that, you know, it may help you in, in if you did want a reading, a healing or anything else like um, a channeled message even, you know, that's available for you there. So um, I thank you all so very much for watching and, you know, keep strong. You are doing such great work keeping the faith and holding that energy of love within your heart. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.